Alright, hey, what's up guys? Um, this is Mia Sin, and today I'll show you my Infernoid deck profile. That's the deck that I used today to top 4-0 um, at uh, Locals. So I went undefeated, and this deck is pretty good. It's not like the deck that uh, Eric Christensen used for YCS Dallas, but I'm still going to profile it, and maybe you can get some ideas um, for, for this deck profile. So first off, uh, we start with one card Trooper. This card is really good for uh, opening. Uh, it sends uh, three cards from the top of the deck uh, to the graveyard, and when it's destroyed, um, if it's destroyed by Ononku, you get to draw a card, so it's really good. Uh, two Raiden, really good opener. Um, it mills uh, two to four cards, and it's a tuner, so you can get some pretty crazy plays with that. So, one Lila um, saved me uh, quite a lot of times today. Uh, it's pretty broken, especially against Imperial Ironwall or other Floodgates. And even when it's not against those kind of cards, uh, it's just so amazing. I really like Lila, and it's searchable by Charter Light Brigade. So, yeah. 3 Inferno Decatron, definitely the MVP of today because it allows me to copy the level of pretty much any Inferno monster in my deck and uh, it uh, allowed me to do some pretty nasty uh, Synchro and Xyz plays today, especially uh, Leo, Keeper of the Secret Tree and it allowed me to pretty much win an in uh, instantly a game because my opponent could not uh, do anything to get over Decatron and it's just exactly what Inferno is needed. One Inferno Pair Maze, this card, this card kind of sucks because it's just level 1, 0 attack, 0 defense and its effect is pretty weak and generally people would, will just chain uh, the, the card that they have fa face down as soon as I uh, summon Pair Maze so it's not really useful, this card will more than likely be sighted out uh, after game 1 3 Anshra, once again this card is not really good, uh, I prefer his level over his, his effect um, the fact that he can bounce back any face-up card to the hand, it's pretty, it's it's decent, but I mean, it, it's not like it really helped me that much. And once again, I just use it for his for his level and to do synchro uh, plays. One Inferno to Harmadic. I used to have two, but I traded one for Regeki. And to be quite honest with you, it didn't really change anything. Um, I think I used Inferno Decatron on uh, Harmadic like once or twice in the entire uh, tournament, so it really doesn't matter at all. Uh, 3 Petrulia, real MVP. This is probably one of the best cards once again, because it allows you to pop uh, pretty much any card, and it's a level 4, so once again, uh, Synchro and Xyz plays. It's just amazing. Always play a 3. I never uh, sighted out a single Petrulia. It's just amazing. 3 Sight Smash. Um, it's 2600, it's good against most decks, but sometimes uh, it just doesn't do anything. And uh, I was against the Teller Knight's uh, first duel, and my opponent didn't know that Sates Mas doesn't target. So he had uh, Tall Mass on the field and uh, three Xyz materials. He could uh, detach uh, all of them to summon Pleiades and bounce it back, uh, bounce back my Sates Mas to the hand. But he missed timing and he wasn't able to. Um, to bounce back Sates Mass in time, so he could not uh, he could not uh, just bounce back Sates Mass before I banished his Constellar Pleiades. So it's it's a great card, but generally I will side out uh, at least one. Uh, well, not not at least one, but one or two. Three Atondels. It's uh, level eight. Um, it's really good because I can go into Divine Dragonite Felgrim with that and it has a pretty decent effect. Actually most of my OTKs were thanks to Tondel, but um, it's it still lacks a, a bit of uh, of power sometimes. I mean 2800 attack is really good, but once again it doesn't really uh, do anything regarding the back row. So uh, unlike Seed Smash, this card uh, only makes sure uh, drops your opponent life points, but that's it. Two Deviari and one Anonku. Um, my opponent will play more um, spells and traps than monsters, generally, most of the time. And I'm, to be honest, uh, spells and traps scare me way more than uh, monsters, so this is why I will be playing only one Anonku. And I, I believe that against uh, certain decks like Yosenju's, uh, I just cited out uh, Anonku because it, it do, didn't do anything. Three Reasoning. Now this card might sound broken to most of you all, but I only used it once in the entire local tournament, so I don't know what to say about this. Monster Gate, I didn't even use it once 
But once again, it's really powerful, and if you can use it, uh, you can kind of win instantly. Two Charge of the Light Brigades, probably my favorite spell card in the entire deck. This card saved me so many times because it allowed me to search for Lila, and it's just too powerful. Even if my opening negates it with Satellanova Alpha, I can still melt three cards from the top of the deck to the grave, um, which is not the case for Reasoning. Two Void Seers. So powerful. Even if it's milled, it still has an effect in the graveyard, and I just love this card. I may be playing three, but I don't know. Two two was perfect for me. Two Dark Hole and... wait a sec. Wait for it. Regaki. Um, now, Dark Hole, against uh, certain decks, it really doesn't do anything. But, actually, I, I, I'll say the same thing for Regeki. For example, Ritual Beast, if they have the Petal Fin on the field, they, it can be destroyed by card effects. And, uh, well, I mean, they, they, even if they had uh, other uh, fusion monsters. But, uh, I mean, some decks really don't care about being destroyed. But it saved me most of the time. It's really good. It's never a minus. It's just amazing. Book of Moon. Uh, I didn't use it at all in the entire tournament. I don't know why. But it's a great card, obviously. 1 for 1. MVP. So good. I only play one, obviously, because it's limited, but if I could play more, I, I would legi legitimately play three. This card is just insane. Rekindling. I believe I didn't really use it that much, but Rekindling is the kind of card that you can only play when you have three, uh, at least three targets. Um, in this case, we have three Decatrons. If you were to sight out one Decatron, you will be removing Rekindling, obviously, because playing Rekindling with only two Decatrons is really dumb. Burial, amazing card, obviously don't have to explain anything, and Torrential Tribute, my my one and only uh, trap card. Now to move on to the side and extra deck. So now I have, I will show you that uh, really quickly. I have one Crimson Blader, saved me uh, quite a lot. Uh, it's pretty powerful. Uh, when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle sends, sends it to Graveyard, your opponent cannot uh, special summon level 5 or higher monsters. Uh, uh, during their next turn. This is really good. It saved me uh, on uh, against the Ritual Beast, but against the Teller Knights it doesn't do anything, so it sucks. Leo, I already explained this. It's overpowered. Yazi didn't even use it at all. It sucks. Black Rose is just insane. So good. Uh, Star Reader, really bad, but easy to summon. I don't know why. Uh, if you have a Sage Master and a Tondel uh, and a Decatron, you can just summon it so easily. Ancient Sacred Wyvern, you probably know why people play it, but uh, I'm not going to go into the details with that. I haven't used it at once, and the only monster that can go into Sacred Wyvern is Raiden, not Decatron, even though it's a tuner. One Omega, it's really good, uh, but it didn't really do anything for me today, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, those three uh, cards, they do exactly the same thing, and once again, I didn't even use them at all. Like, uh, against my matchup uh, uh, of Satellar Knights, I didn't even touch my extra deck once. One I'll say, really good uh, rank 8. Uh, I also play Divine Dragon Knight Felgren with that. Uh, the two best rank 8s, to be honest. Finally, we have Excite on Castell and Draco Sack. Cards that I... I Actually, I have never used Exciton in my entire life. I used Castell like once, and Draco Sack is actually pretty good. Finally, I will show you my uh, side deck. So, two mistakes. It's really good if you can get it on the field, but if you can't, uh, it really doesn't matter, because uh, generally I will be playing mistake against decks like uh, Satilla Knights and Yosenjus, and... I believe that hurting them with Royal Decree is way, uh, way better than Mystique. One Jinzo saved my life. Fairy Winds uh, never played it once. Two Royal Decree, same thing for Jinzo. It's just amazing. Three MST. Um, it's really good. It saved me for uh, against Imperial Ironwell. Obviously, don't need to explain anything about that. Three Light Imprisoning Mirror. That's against the Teller Knights and. Uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't even do the Cosmos this, uh, this, but uh, uh, today. Last but not least, three Chaos Hunters. I haven't summoned it once, but I had it against Ritual Beast. But if I were to summon it, it would be pretty good. I also had it on the Inferno Mirror match, but I didn't even summon it. So, anyways, 
thank you very much for watching. Um, just make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> rate, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys.